Have you found the booth? One coffee, yes, two for no. So, he, I, I guess, murdered him. He actually died? Uh, yes. The Catholic Church. With 1.3 billion baptized members, Catholics make up 16% of the global population. They have the Pope as their spiritual leader, love Jesus, and believe that a virgin named Mary became pregnant. Which is great, but the other thing they do is attend confession, where they speak to a priest and confess their sins in order to get into heaven. Sins, which are derived from thousands of years of scripture, include the obvious, like murder, the weird, like working on the Sabbath, and the downright bonkers, like being gay. But what happens when you go to confession? Can you be forgiven for literally anything? And if the sin is serious enough, surely the church would report you to the police. There was only one way to find out by confessing to sins ourselves. I'm gonna do whatever you say, so just... Yes, like... you are. Josh, can you hear me? Yeah. I'm currently searching for the Father. So Josh, this is level one. I'm just gonna warm yourself into it. Let's just see if they'll forgive you for sins that really shouldn't be sins, but aren't even that major. Hi. How are you? Fine, you? Good, thank you. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been a week since my last confession. Uh, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been a week since my last confession. You swore at your mother. You called her a f***ing bitch. I've, I've got a bit of a tough relationship with my mother. Last week, I, I called her a... Excuse my language, a f***ing bitch. So Excellent. I to go to your good confession while asking you to take us help and honour our father and our mother. And that starts from the heart. For your parents say one our father and three Hail Marys for your parents, please. Okay. Oh my God, because you are so good. The priest asked me to do something called a Hail Mary, which I thought was a new type of vape, but turned out to be a prayer. Brilliant, well done, let's get out of here. That was brilliant, you've, you've sworn at your mother and you've been forgiven for it, so that's excellent news. Having confessed to something minor, not in that way, that comes later, it was time to confess to something they hate even more. He's found the booth. Uh, cough hammer. <laughs> Your first lines, Josh, as always, will be in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I don't know if this is a sin, but I had a gay experience last week. You gave a blowjob to another man, and you enjoyed it. I performed fellatio on another man, um, and, and I enjoyed it. Is it a sin? Is it a sin? And would you say these desires and what I've done is... Sinful. Uh, two men getting into relationship is an offence that there does a sin. What, any kind of, or is it? It is not natural, is it? Not like if I just did the tip or something, then that's... Yeah, I think so, yeah. This is straight up homophobia. You will have to go to somebody who is an expert. Maybe like a conversion yeah, therapist? Think, yeah. I and would they be able to fix me? I think so. They would be able to guide you and to direct you. Away from sin? Yeah, I think so, yeah. And get me away from these homosexual feelings? Yeah, I think so. I think you, what you could ask is you could go for a face-to-face -face conversation with somebody who would be able to guide you. Yeah, so do you think it's possible to change these urges I have by speaking to a professional? I am, I'm sure, I'm sure. It could be psychiatric help. Yeah, could be like come psychotherapy or whatever. Go to Western sick of people, there will be people who will be able to help you. So for your penis if you say one hour father, and you can say that to publish. Oh my god, because you are so good. These guys are so straight, they don't just think being gay is a sin. Shockingly, they're happy to recommend the dangerous fiction that is gay conversion therapy. He suggested that you got professional help. That is gay conversion therapy. That is soon to be illegal. That is really dangerous. But being gay or swearing at your mother isn't illegal. It was time to visit the epicenter of the Catholic Church, St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican, and confess to serious crimes with innocent victims. Sit on There's not a single visit. bench? No. Where am I going to sit? I'm you... certainly not sitting on one of those. No, that looks right. like a giant that dildo. Right. You don't want to be sitting on a giant dildo right outside the Catholic Church. You, you do might not get this struck down. One thing they do not like is bum play. <laughs> Send my love to the Pope. All the way you go, Josh. Confession's on the left. Josh is now inside St. Peter's Basilica. He's going to confess to whatever I tell him. This is the home of the Pope, the most important Catholic church in the world. We'd like to warn viewers that the next confession contains themes of child abuse. Hello, Father. So I'm, I'm in a loving uh, sexual relationship with a, with a girl, and I wish to repent for the fact 
that we're not married and she's actually only 14. Only 14? Yeah, she's only 14. But I but wish to repent and seek forgiveness. You know, we, love e we love each other and I, I wish to repent for this. How old are you? Me, I'm 26. Try not to repeat and uh, try to avoid personal intimacy. Eh? Certainly later on. Eh? You can get married, no problem. Yeah, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try not to it again. I just wish to repent today for the fact that we have been sexually intimate. And she's a minor. Sexual intimacy, like uh, sex. She's a little girl only. Hmm? She doesn't understand. Hmm? She is young, but I feel like we have a very understanding, consensual relationship. But still, the Catholic Church doesn't accept it. Hmm? Before marriage, you know. Hmm? Is that because we're not married? Yeah. Because the teachings of the Catholic Church is that only after marriage. Maybe enter into sex and Can I be marriage. forgiven for the fact that she's much younger than me, please? Okay. Can I be forgiven for the fact that she's much younger than me for what I've done so far, please? That's not a problem. She's, uh, according to your law, I don't know how many years. She's two years too young. Uh, yeah, try to repent and try not to repeat such kind of things in life. Yes. And of course, you can, you can be in trouble also. Yes, yeah, so yeah. that's why I'm here. Because she decided to get married later, maybe, when you are mature enough, when she's mature enough. Right? Till then, try to keep away from... Sex yeah, but, but you, you won't tell anyone that I've done this, will you? No, this is confession. No? I cannot say to anybody. You can't say that I've had sex with a minor. You can pray for God's forgiveness and mercy. And, and will I be forgiven? Certainly I can forgive you, okay? We can do Hail Marys and yeah, be forgiven. Oh my God, I'm heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because of thy... Wow! Having been forgiven for a fictitious relationship with a 14-year-old, which was apparently wrong mainly because we weren't married, we return to confess to the worst of all sins, murder. The amusing thing is he hasn't, as far as I know, actually killed anyone. So he'll then have to prove that, despite having said he has killed someone, he'll have to prove that he hasn't killed someone, which puts him in an interesting philosophical dilemma, really. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Uh... It's been three months since my last confession. I had a, a moment of madness with my flatmate a few months ago. Uh, we've been having quite a tough time, but I've traveled to Rome uh, in order to confess my sins. After a number of very difficult months living with him, I did something that I, that I regret. I, well, I made dinner for us and I served him a carbonara. Gave him plutonium instead of parmesan. But, Instead of parmesan, I put plutonium on the top of the pasta. Uh, I poisoned him, um, and he, he, he's actually died. But I think I need my absolution from God for what I've done. Okay, is there anything else you would like to confess besides this? Uh, no, just that. Okay, fine. You openly confessed that, that you have killed somebody? Yes. And so I give you the absolution for this this, uh, this sin. But you yourself, as soon as it is possible for you, please pray the Psalm 50. Okay, the Psalm 50. For one month. So if I pray for one month, the Psalm 50, then I'll be forgiven. No, you are forgiven. This is. I, I'm forgiven already. You are forgiven now. I'm going to give you the absolution. But afterwards, please say, Let's put 30 days, not for one, absolve 50. This means you have absolved the penance. Okay, so I'm already forgiven for yes. the murder. And now I'm going to give you the absolution. Now you're going to give me the absolution, yes. okay. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. You have been already forgiven. Thank you. Should I go to the authorities or am I okay in the eyes this of is, God? This is up to you. Not it's up to it, me. It's, there's nothing I can do about that because yeah. what you have told me is a secrecy. Yeah. It's, it belongs to the secrecy of confession. This this is your business. Let me put it this way. I do not say anything about that. Okay. It's, it's, so it's, it's your affair. I killed him, but now, now I'm good. You're pardoned by God. Pardoned by God. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Father. Well done, you murderous toad. So you, 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 you and God are cool now on being gay, sleeping with an underage child, murdering someone, working on a Sunday, being rude to your parents. It's astonishing. So there you have it. It turns out you can be forgiven for absolutely anything, and perhaps that's the very point of religion. But maybe there are questions over whether a fictional murderer should still be walking free, or whether one of the world's most respected institutions should be recommending gay conversion therapy. Either way, they'll probably forgive us. 